with the problems based on work done. Let's start with the sum. Sum number 2, the sum says, two women and five men together can finish an embroidery work in four days, while three women and six men can finish it in three days. Find the time taken by one woman alone to finish the work and also that taken by one man alone. Some looks complicated but it's very very simple as I always say. Don't try to understand anything initially. Just ask yourself what we need to find. Find the time taken by one woman and one man alone to complete the work. So there are two unknowns, time taken by one woman and one man alone to complete the work. So let's start. Let the time taken or the number of days taken to complete the work by woman alone be X and the time taken by man be Y. Right? So you can either write let the number of days taken or let the time taken one and the same. Right? Now two women and five men together can finish an embroidery work in four days. Whenever I give this statement, normally I get an answer from the students that the answer, the equation should be 2x plus 5y is equal to 4, but that's wrong. Because when all are working together, the time required is less and not more, so you can't add. So what do we do now? How do we proceed in this sum? Now we'll have to convert this time taken into work done. Because when together we work, we work more, but time taken is less, right? So let's convert this time taken into work done. How do we do it? Let's, let's understand this with the help of a table. If I tell you, I want you to complete a work in two days, how will you complete the work in two days? You will do half on one day, the other half on the other day. So if I want to complete the work in two days, half, half the work is over. So what did you observe here? If a work is to be completed in two days, work done in one day is half. So work done in one day is half. Let's take one more example. If a work is to be completed in three days, how will you complete? One third, one third, one third and three days work is over. So if a work is to be completed in three days, the work done in one day is one third. Can you see a relation there? Two days, work done in one day is one upon two. Three days, work done in one day is one upon three. So if a work is to be completed in x days, the work done in one day will be one upon x. So work done in one day is always the reciprocal of the total number of days taken. Now with the help of this, let's form the equations, let's proceed with the sum. So here, the time taken by woman is x days. So what would be the work done in one day by that woman? The work done in one day will be 1 upon x. Similarly, what will be work done by one man in one day? it will be 1 upon y because man is taking y days to complete the work, right? One woman takes x days to complete the work, so work done in one day is 1 upon x. One man takes y days to complete the work, so work done in one day is 1 upon y. Simple? Now it's very, very simple. The first equation says, the first condition says, two women and five men together can finish an embroidery work in four days. One woman, 1 upon x, 2 women, 2 upon x, 3 women, 3 upon x, as simple as that. Similarly, 1 men, 1 upon y, 2 men, 2 upon y, 3 men, 3 upon y, 5 men, 5 upon y, as simple as that. Let's start. 2 women, that's 2 upon x, plus, because it's together, 5 men, 5 upon y, can complete the work in 4 days, can complete the work in 4 days, 4 days, is the time taken. So work done in one day will be 1 upon 4. Let's go on to the second condition. What does the second condition say? Three women and six men can finish it in three days. Three women, 3 upon x, six men, 6 upon y, finish in three days. So work done in one day will be 1 upon 3. Two equations variables in the denominator. How do we solve such equations? By substituting. What do we substitute? The common denominator, the common term. The common denominator is x and x, so 1 upon x is p. The common denominator is y and y, so 1 upon y as q. First, let's substitute 1 upon x as p in the first equation. You get 2p plus 5q is equal to 1 upon 4. 
multiply throughout by 4, we get 8p plus 20q is equal to 1. Let this be equation number 1. Now, let us substitute 1 upon y as q, right? What do we get? 3p plus 6q is equal to 1 upon 3 multiplying throughout by 3, 9p plus 18q is equal to 1. Let this be equation number 2. Now the question is how do we solve such equations? How do we solve both these equations? Look at the coefficients of p there, 8 and 9. Look at the coefficients of q there, 20 and 18. You try to solve it by substitution method or elimination method. The calculations are not going to be simple because the coefficients are add as bad as 8, 20, 9 and 18. So what do we do in this sum? Observe the two equations very, very carefully. Equation number 1 and equation number 2. What do you observe? Compare the two equations. Can you see in both the equations, RHS is the same. In equation 1 also, RHS is 1. In equation 2 also, RHS is 1. So RHS is the same right? Hence, LHS will also be the same. When right hand sides are equal, the left hand sides are also equal. So, let us do one thing. Let us equate the left hand sides. What are the left hand sides in equation 1 and 2? It is 8p plus 20q in equation number 1 is equal to 9p plus 18q in equation number 2. So, what did we do? Because in the given form, solving it would be difficult as far as calculations are concerned. We used our brains a bit, you know. We saw the right hand side is same in both the equations. So, left hand side needs to be the same. So, we equated the left hand sides. Now, bring all p terms together, all q terms together. We get 8p minus 9p is equal to 18q minus 20q. So, we get minus p is equal to minus 2q minus minus is plus. So, we get p is equal to 2q. Let this be equation number 3. Look at equation number 3. Are we not getting something like p is equal to something? p is equal to something reminds us of what? It reminds us of substitution method, right? So now let us use substitution method and solve it. How to use uh, substitution method? We can always substitute equation number 3 in equation number 1. When we substitute equation number 3 in equation number 1, and solve, we get p is equal to 1 upon 18 and we get q is equal to 1 upon 36. But the sum is not over. You remember that because we are not interested in the values of p and q. We are interested in the values of x and y. So what do we do to get the values of x and y? We resubstitute. p is equal to 1 upon x and q is equal to 1 upon y. When we resubstitute, we cross multiply, we get the values of x. And the value of x that you will be getting is x is equal to 18 and y is equal to 36 which means that woman takes 18 days and man will take 36 days to complete the work alone as simple as that.